the small classes at Greer have really been great because um, a lot of the classes, they really want you to sort of push yourself and like put yourself out of your comfort zone, at least that, that's what I've my experience. And so the small classes, like, there's a sort of community to it, definitely. Um, I love that my Greer classes are so small. My French class is only two of us, which gives a lot of, um, you know, personal interaction with the teacher, but also with your fellow classmates. Um, gives a lot of chance for us all to speak up and to talk to each other and, you know, converse and make sure we're all understanding together. We do encourage American students to take at least two years of a, of a modern language. And we also encourage international students to start what is for many of them a third language and possibly for some even a fourth language. To learn a modern language really opens up many opportunities and these opportunities go from being personal social opportunities to educational opportunities, professional opportunities, economic opportunities. It's like a sisterhood, it really is. The girls become such good friends and, and seeing the, the friendships that get made cross-culturally is especially, uh, you know, nice to see. But oftentimes the, the general secretary of the party in the communist government this is not senior history, this is freshman history. I'm not gonna treat you guys like seniors in high school, I'm gonna treat you like freshmen in college. And here we go, see, and that's, that's the beginning of the course. And it's one of the things I love about teaching the seniors, especially seniors here, is you can, I can really tell that they, they have their eye on the next year, you know. Yeah, they're here this year and they're enjoying all the, you know, the, the wonderful things that seniors get to do here. But they all have like, you know, one foot is already in college. The women's engineering program at Penn State came and did two lectures, one a, a lecture in calculus, a lecture in the physics classroom, and then they did a general lecture for anybody who didn't have calculus and physics just to introduce engineering um, to students. One of the students I talked to yesterday said that she wants to go into nuclear engineering and one of the girls was a nuclear engineer and she, she was excited about what she was saying. So, you know, they are influenced by other young women. So part of the grade is to make sure that their egg doesn't crack when it smashes against the wall. One of the things that I like to do in physics after some um, them learning a concept like momentum, energy, is to create a project where they can do hands-on engineering type of stuff. We designed a car out of recycled parts. There was two things that they had to do. They had to crash it into the wall and have a little egg in the driver's seat. And if the egg survived, there you go, everybody was safe today. Then they passed that test. And the second test, they had to take the same car, drive it down a ramp, and go the furthest. Elite Scholars is a new name for a program that's been around for a while. We've recognized that in order to qualify for the 50 or 75 elite colleges and universities in America, a student needs to take a minimum of four or five or six AP classes. We're proud that we offer 16 AP classes at Greer. And even if you don't state something, I know that that's what that character would say. So I want to try it this year differently. With we focus a lot on writing in our curriculum, obviously. Our biggest goal, I think, at Greer is to have our students ready for the college expectations that they'll face when they leave in those college writing assignments. Um, and we do very well to make sure that they're prepared. Being that the girls are with us all day and all night, we can offer various levels of support to them. Um, just starting out, obviously, we have our traditional just classroom support. We have small class sizes. We have our extra help period, which is every day from 12.30 to 1. Then in addition, we have our nighttime study hall, um, which can be supervised or unsupervised, depending on what the student needs. And then finally, individual tutoring. I'm in AP Biology. It's a big commitment, but um, we do get a lot of support and a lot of help, and I'm able to talk to my teachers if I need help. Like, Ms. Bressler is always available. She lives on campus, too. I love the extra help opportunity. It's great. Um, it's like 40 minutes in the middle of the day where it's like 40 free minutes you can go to see any of your teachers. So I definitely utilize that. And after school, even the teachers make themselves available. If you ever need them, you can always just say, is there a time that I can meet with you? And they'll find time for you. A typical day in, in learning skills is where I would check an agenda book of a student. When she would come in, I would identify what her needs are for the day. 
and she possibly would have some assignment that is due for that day or some study skills that she needs to hone. I was actually in learning skills for three years. So this is my fourth year here. It helped me keep myself very organized. It helped me like get my stuff on track. Once you get past like you can take care of yourself with your organization, you can go off on your own. I do see um, positive influence of an all-girls environment on math achievement. The students are more willing to voice their weaknesses, voice their problems, voice when they have difficulties. Um, it also helps if they have a female teacher for math because then they see that a female can also do math. Reverse on the other side. Times M, where M is an unknown he makes our math very practical and like he combines the reality with the theory and I find calculus is very interesting. He usually gives us one question. I know he, he usually knows the answer, but actually he won't tell us. And we were like fighting with each other. Sometimes I have this answer, sometimes the other students have other answers. And we're like fighting, like, I think it's this one. And other students will think, oh, it's this one. But Mr. Drake won't tell us the real answer. He let us discover the formulas and the theories by ourselves. I know the formula is like much, much better. Not only just memorizing, but also like really understand it. I think being involved with the students inside and outside of the classroom helps them to see that you are here to be more than a teacher. You're here to support them. You're here, you're here to support them as part of this community. It's not just a school, as we say. It's a community, and my being here during the day and at night shows them that I will put in the time to help them be successful.